we're going to talk about an application. It's not a new application. It's been around for a while. You've probably come across it. It's where you have to extend RS-232 data well beyond what would be the normal reach of, of such transmissions. For example, maybe you're in a West Virginia coal mine and you're trying to get signaling out of the bottom of that mine. Or perhaps it's a utility and you're trying to get signaling, RS-232 signaling, down the track. Maybe it's four miles, five miles, six miles. Well, with ASM-10, you can do these things. In fact, uh, you can get even greater ranges depending upon the data rate that's required. You can go both synchronous and asynchronous uh, with this equipment. But if you have a weather station, for example, a weather station at a mountaintop where your instruments, you have a wind meter or anemometer that is measuring the wind speed and it's sending data back. It's a low speed serial connection. You know, 1.2 kilobits is fine for that data, but you need a long distance. The ASM-10 will do that. As a matter of fact, you can, over 24 gauge copper, you could be going as far as 17 miles. That's like quite a ways. In the West Virginia coal mine, you might need a higher data rate. You might have more information coming across that, but your distances won't be as great. They're likely that they won't be 17 miles. Utility? Yeah, it could be either way. It really just depends on the application. The ASM-10 has some interesting features in it. It has some isolation transformers in there that help against, uh, protect against spikes, whether those spikes, power spikes, are AC or DC. In other words, power surges coming down the power line or surges coming down that long piece of copper you have laid out between two points. Now, the problem you have with something, when you have two units that are that far apart, you need to be able to do testing to establish that the loop is still working and that the other unit is still there. If you're on that, uh, in the case of the weather station we mentioned, if you have a monitoring device on a mountaintop and you're not getting signaling, you want to know that the ASM-10 is still performing or if it's lost power. You want to know that. Well, you, the ASM-10 has built-in features to allow you to determine that it is working properly. We'll take a closer look at one in just a moment, but if you need to extend uh, RS-232 data, this is a good way to do it. Here we have the front of the ASM-10. As you can see, there's several LED indicators across the front. Uh, there's a power indicator, a request to send, a transmit data, receive data, a data carrier detect, a test light, and then a little further over we have three buttons. Uh, these three buttons are for testing purposes. The first one is a digital loopback test. The second one is an analog loopback test, and the last one is for a remote loopback test. Okay, here we have the back of the ASM-10. As you can see, you have a power connection here. In this case, it's 115 volts. It's also available as 230. You have your DB25 female connector for your uh, data port, and then you have where your copper wires are going to connect. There's two for transmit and two for receive, remembering that you can operate this in two wire for half duplex or four wire for full duplex. And then, of course, you have a ground, uh, a ground connector as well. Okay, well, now you know a little bit about an ASM-10. You've taken a look at one. You know, if you have an application where you need to extend your serial data, uh, give us a call. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about whether the ASM-10 is right for you. Whether it's a West Virginia coal mine or a, a weather station or a utility, whatever your application is, if it's low speed serial data with an extended range that you need, the ASM-10 may fit the bill. And if you're not sure, give us a call. That's why we're here. Here at Cutter Networks, we supply you not only with the products, but we supply you with answers and solutions. Look forward to speaking with you. You have a wonderful day.